Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I have a rank up guide video for you guys on Reddit Online. After I made my most recent GT Online video, top 5 fastest ways to rank up, a lot of people asked me, could you make one for Reddit Online? And this footage you guys are seeing right here, this is from about 3 weeks ago. So I had footage for this video, I just never got around to making this video, but here I am with this now. And for this video, this is going to seem complicated what I'm doing, but it's really not. So for Red Dead Online, what you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to go into the menu and you're going to want to go to progress and you're going to want to go to awards. And when you go into that, you're going to see so many different tabs. You're going to see one for sharpshooter, you're going to see one for combat, you're going to see one for trade, crimes, competitive. There's so many different ones, hunting as well. And what you want to do is you want to go through each of these challenges here. And any challenge that you think you can complete over time, any challenge that you think you can get, no problem, pin it. So for me, it's R3 for on the PS4 to pin it, and I'm going to be pinning any challenge that I think I can complete. So there's a lot of them. There's ones like, um, there's ones get a thousand kills for a rifle, get a thousand rifle headshots. There's another one, spend a thousand dollars in the store, um, collect 1,000 animal parts, sell 100 herbs to a doctor. There's so many, so many different ones. Get 100, get 100 kills of a bow headshot like right here. And a lot of these, you're going to be doing these over time. So you're going to be multitasking. So you're going to want to pin these, get a whole list of them. And I think I have like 40 something challenges that I have marked in my log. And I just go through my log and I do these challenges. I multitask as I'm doing missions and other things. And I'm going to show you guys some gameplay to show exactly what I'm doing here. So it seems complicated, but it's really not. And these challenges, you're not going to be doing them like all right away really quickly. You're going to be doing them over time. And as you go through the list, you do two, three challenges at once. And once you complete a challenge, most of them, you can reset them. You just hit square. For me on the PS4, on the Xbox, I believe it's X, you hit square. You reset the challenge and then you can do it again. And you can do the challenges up to 10 times. Most challenges are like this. Some do not let you reset. But when you reset, you also get 0.40 gold. And then you can do the challenge again. The first tier, I believe you get 50 XP. Second tier, you get 100 XP. Third tier, you get 150 XP. Fourth tier, you get 200 XP. And fifth tier, you get 500 XP. So you can make a pretty decent amount of XP from these challenges, multitasking of missions and other things. I'm going to show you guys an example of what I'm doing here. Let me show you guys some gameplay of what I do. So starting off, I started out at the Doctors in St. Denis. And this sequence that I'm going to be showing you guys, all of this gameplay, this was in around an 80 minute period. So about an hour and 20 minutes, I went up a full level. And what I'm doing here is I'm actually selling herbs to the doctor. And then I'm resetting the award. I get 0.40 gold. And then I start selling some more that I have left here. And I know what some people are going to think. Some people are going to think, but picking herbs, really? And then going and then selling them to the doctor? We're not really doing this for money. We're doing this for XP and the herb. Selling challenge, it's part of the trade tab in the award section. It's actually one of the best ways to rank up because once you get up on that final tier, you get 500 XP and you just need to sell 100 herbs. And you also get a herb picking challenge. So there's also an herb picking challenge that's to pick a thousand herbs. So you're going to be doing both simultaneously. And a lot of these, you're going to be doing them together. Like for instance, if I did the rifle headshot challenge, I could do the rifle headshot challenge and I could do the rifle kills challenge. So every time I get a kill with the rifle and I get a headshot, I'm doing two challenges challenges at once. So you want to multitask and you also want to do missions in between. So you see right here, I'm also doing a mission. And in the meantime, what I'm doing is I'm going to be picking some of these herbs, I'm going to be selling them to the doctor, and I'm also going to finish the mission and then get XP for that. So I wait till the last minute with the mission to get maximum reward, to get more XP. And then I'm going to also going to be picking those herbs and also doing different challenges. And whenever I get into combat, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going for headshots, not just for the award challenge, but I'm also going to be going for headshots so that I get more XP. Because every time you get a headshot kill, you get a little bit more XP. And also, if you use special ammo, you do get more XP. This pamphlet right here, this is the split point ammo pamphlet. You want to pick this up from the fence as soon as you can. This is a really good way to craft special ammo. And this is a this special ammo, you get this for free. All you basically need to do is you convert regular bullets to split point bullets. And you can do this at any campfire. And for me, on the PlayStation 4, you just hold X. On the Xbox, I'm assuming that you hold A. And you just hold it down. And you can convert all of your ammo into split point ammo. And you also get the crafting challenge done at the same time. So you can get the crafting challenge done and rank up from that. So let me show you guys a few more challenges that I'm going to be doing along the way here to get some pretty quick XP. So here I am, I'm multitasking, I'm collecting herbs for that challenge, and I also get the challenge done here at the same time. 
So I think I pick this herb right here and I get the survivalist for 500, 500 herbs picked. Let's take a look right here. Do I get it? Let's see. Yes, there it is. So I picked 500 herbs, and again, I didn't do this really quick. This I did over time. So as I was doing missions, you know, as I was doing different things, multitasking, I saw some herbs, I picked them, and then I sell them at the doctor, and I'm doing a second challenge, the herb selling challenge to the doctor. I also see some alligators here, and I start killing them. And not only am I killing them for money, so I could sell their meat, and I could sell the pelt, to the, to the butcher, but I'm also doing it for two different challenges. I'm doing it for the challenge where I sell meat and animal parts to the butcher, and also the one where I collect animal parts. So right here, take a look at this. I killed this alligator, and I'm going to show you guys my log. And this log, you guys are going to see all of my challenges in here. Look, I marked all the challenges, all the challenges that I think I could complete, I have in here. So I have 44 challenges in total. And Whenever I look at this list, I always have one challenge that I'm about to complete, almost always. So you want to take a look at these, see what challenges you have to complete, and just do them. And take a look at this, I get this alligator right here, and when I get this alligator right here, and I skin it, I get an award, and I get another challenge. I'm also getting 15 XP for killing the alligators. I think that this was from an event, I'm not certain on that, but take a look at this, get this alligator here, skin this, let's see, do I get my challenge? Look at that, 500 animal parts collected. So basically, even though it seems complicated, guys, it's not. And I got 200 XP right there. All you basically need to do is you just need to start do missions. So start up a stranger mission, keep that mission running, go for headshots. Let me show you guys some combat right here, moving on. Go for headshots specifically. And if you do an execution, you get even more XP. And you also have the execution challenge where you get a thousand executions. So go for headshots, go for the gun challenges as well. Use the special ammo, use the split point ammo because you get an extra five XP per kill with that special ammo. You get more XP for a headshot also. Take advantage of that. It does not work against cops and lawmen, but works against enemies that you encounter in missions and also in stranger activities. So look at this, I get 812 XP from this mission, 812 XP. Let me move on and show you guys some combat. This right here, I was um, finishing up a mission and this was from a Anthony Foreman mission in Saint Denis and I was fighting lawmen and cops in this mission so I was just getting five XP per kill, not that much, but I dragged the mission out to the end and right here, skip forward, mission ending here, had 10 seconds left, let's take a look right here. Look at this, I got Crimes Award. So I also got the Crimes Award challenge that I was also going for. I was wasting some time there. I got 440 XP with that. 440 XP with the mission and the Crimes Award challenge. Okay, so now look, take a look at this. This is some combat against some regular enemies here, not just cops and lawmen. These enemies you get extra XP for, and you want to go for headshots. Like I said, use the split point ammo and go for headshots. In this one, I was using the high velocity ammo, I believe, because I ran out of split point ammo a little earlier, but use special ammo, use the split point ammo, and if you go for executions like I did right there, the easiest way to get an execution, in my opinion, is to just tackle them. You tackle them and just press R2, use that rifle, use the special ammo, you get points for the special ammo, you also get points for the execution, points for the kill, and it also counts as a rifle kill. Unfortunately, it does not appear to count as a headshot, even though you technically are getting a headshot with the um, with the execution. But as you guys see, I'm just going for headshots, and then right after I kill these enemies, I'm going to loot all of them. And not only am I getting money from this, but I'm also doing another challenge. I have another challenge to loot 1,000 enemies. So I'm doing these challenges together. I'm multitasking, you know, headshot kills with the rifle, kills with the rifle, executions also looting, and I'm also waiting till the last minute with the mission, getting some XP there, and then whenever I can find some herbs, I'm gonna pick those, sell those to the doctor, and hey, you might have completely different challenges than me. You might not, you might not be going for the same challenges as me, but the point that I'm making here is that you wanna multitask with these challenges. Do a bunch of different challenges, and you get rewards for them. You get a ton of XP from them, 500 XP when you fully complete the challenge, and a lot of them you can reset up to 10 times. So these challenges, combining them with missions, going for headshots, in combat, you can get some pretty quick XP, and you can rank up fast doing this method. So take a look at this, I'm fast forwarding right here, I killed a lot of these enemies, let me fast forward to the end of the mission here, got another kill there, look at this, mission is complete, got .32 gold, gonna be picking some herbs here because I just spotted them, getting those for the challenge and also to sell to the doctor, I got 335 XP from that, nice. So basically, just combine everything, do everything together multitask 
And also, there's one final thing I didn't mention here, guys, which is also daily objectives. Daily objectives, a lot of times they're pretty easy. Like one daily objective that I had here was to pet a dog, which is very easy. They're oftentimes in towns. I found this one in roads, and I got 200 XP from that. Each daily challenge that you complete, you get 200 XP. And there's seven in a day, but that's basically 1400 XP extra. A lot of them are pretty easy to complete. I dragged out the next mission here. Let's see how much I got. I got $12 here, but not really going for money, going for XP. Got 274 XP. And I had another challenge where I was spending $1,000 in shops. Don't go for that challenge specifically to spend $1,000 just to get XP. But over time, take a look at that and see how much you have left to spend to get that challenge done. And if you have some things that you got to get, get those things. You can get the challenge completed. So here, I spent some money on some horse medicine, some horse tonics spent that i got a thousand dollars spent in shops and i got 500 xp take a look at this right here got the horse reviver there it is a thousand dollars spent in shops so just multitask with these challenges 500 xp for me easy way to rank up and then what i do is i just reset the award i get 0.40 gold and i can start doing it again up to 10 times like i said i'm just going to go up to the butcher now and i'm just going to sell my meat there get the money from the from my hunting and also towards the challenge where i just sell stuff to the butcher and then I'm going to fast forward right here, and here I'm at the river, and I'm just collecting um, sockeye salmon, but I'm doing this for the daily challenge. And I got 200 XP from that. I completed another mission right here. I got some more XP here. And finally, take a look at this right here. We're going to the doctor, and we're going to be selling all those herbs up to 100 herbs. So I got the herb picking for the survivalist, and I also got for the trade with the doctor, selling herbs to the doctor. This is a very good way to rank up, multitask with this. I'll also put this down in the top pinned comment down below in case um, you guys want basically steps to follow. It seems complicated what I'm doing, but it's really not. You just got to get those challenges, pin them, keep track of them. Everybody has different challenges. So the challenges that I'm not doing, that the challenges that I'm doing, I'm sorry, the challenges that I'm doing, you might not like doing those challenges. You might have other challenges that you want to do. Go for those challenges and do them multitask them you can make plenty of xp if anybody has any questions comments or concerns leave them down below i'll try to answer as many questions as i can i'll try to help as many people as i can i hope that this guy has helped people out let me know what you guys think and if you guys enjoyed the video drop a like and if you're new to my channel enjoy my content subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one